A bit slippy today. New into stock, we have a Peugeot 3008 1.6 Blue HDI Allure. It's a stop start version. It's a 2015 on 65 plate, has pan roof, 38,230 miles, and uh, the fuel economy, very, very economical. Urban 61.4, extra urban 74.3, and combined is 68.9. Nought 60 time of uh, 12 seconds. Top speed of 113 miles per hour out of 120 brake horsepower, 16 valve engine. Only 20 pound a year to uh, tax as well. Really, really good spec, nice car, nice car to drive. Uh, certainly been well looked after. I think it's got Pirellis on all round. Let me just check, zeros. So we've got the uh, brushed aluminium window surround and they match the uh, mirror backs, multi-spoke alloys and they're dark, uh, silver metallic and uh, diamond cut. They look really, really nice. Door protectors here and again the chrome trim to match the sides. Full pan roof, rear privacy glass. Inside we've got blinds too if the privacy glass isn't enough for you. Electric boot release, integrated uh, tailgate spoiler there. Rear wash wipe, privacy glass again. Just put that away there. So the, the top bit of the tailgate opens up. You've got a rear load cover. And then you've got this bit as well. So it's got uh, a dual floor there. You can take this out for extra room or just drop this down and load stuff underneath, keep it uh, out of the way. Really nice in the back, um, very, very light and airy with this full pan roof, which comes up to here. You can also have the shade band go straight across it. For adults, you've just got to knock the uh, the rear headrest up a bit. Uh, that's that's better, and then your shoulders are supported. Kind of a, a leather effect finish with pattern cloth in the centre. The seats are hollowed out at the back there, so you've got more leg room. Nice touch here in the back. You you have got the privacy glass, but you've also got rear blinds, double stitching, very, very nice, very nice. Good view as well from the back. Three inertia rear seat belts, Isofix uh, anchor points, very nice car. Just take you for a ride. Remote central locking, two keys, proper blade. You see there the sat nav comes up out of the dash and also on this side, the heads up display. The heads up display you can knock down or the way you'd want to, I don't know. So that's from that switch there. You can also dim the display if it's too bright from this one. And then from this one, you can alter the angle of the screen depending on your height, I suppose. Um, so service history. 9th of September 2016 at 10,477 miles, Palmer's Peugeot. And then 10th of the 8th, 2017, 20,800 at Palmer's Peugeot again. 30th of the 7th, 2018, 31,086 Palmer's Peugeot again. So full Peugeot history so far. It's done 38,229 miles. I really like these cars. There's bags of room, plenty of room for passengers, plenty of room for luggage too. It's got an electro electronic handbrake. And if we just pull away there, you hear it going off going off quite smooth so away it goes it's got the uh, full pan sunroof as well along with a shade band uh, there's a camera attached to the roof so I can't do it all the way but that's that one yep as I 
I say, the, the heads-up display, I think, is a real good addition to all cars these days and uh, would be great if it was standard. I think the sat-nav's in night mode at the moment. I'll show you how to set the sat-nav later and also pair your mobile and you can stream audio through the, the system. It's not the easiest one to use. Um, but once you've got the hang of it, then everything's fine. Got a nice flat front central armrest. Plenty of uh, plenty of room there. Two cup holders. It's a, a manual gearbox six-speed. Steering's really good. Picks its feet up too, despite that rather bad gear change. Power folding door mirrors. Just check they work. Yep, that one works nicely. So does that one. Just uh, sat at 60 miles an hour there on the heads up display on your console here in front of you. Got rev counter on the left hand side, then coolant temperature at the top left. At the top right is fuel gauge, and then your speedo, and in your speedo, manometer. And in the centre there, you've got your uh, information display. Sun's low down playing Hamlet with my camera no doubt chap in the polo in the outside lane holding everybody up there he's uh, obviously decided he's going to turn right up here and <laughs> made his mind up to stop in that lane everybody bunched up behind him there's a taxi in front of us I'm, uh, I'm afraid I hate them Yep, he's a very cautious driver there, <laughs> pulled up about uh, eight foot back from the stop line. There's only a young guy as well. I expect him to be about 95. gear change, nice light clutch, the steering's uh, pretty good too, and uh, certainly goes around the corners. We've got cruise control there. The van just swerved across the lanes there to go off. So cruise control, I can't see it, so we'll uh, attempt to switch it on. Cruise control paused. Speed limiter, that's at the bottom. So cruise control, cruise control active. There's a thumb wheel off in the middle. Down, I think, is... Uh, speed limiter then cruise control up on the back the bottom is minus so I should be able to if I click the top one yeah that's increased my speed bottom one knocks it down so cruise control is working nicely it's uh, 
reasonably quiet. Seats are lovely and comfortable. Big uh, door pockets here. And back seats again are great. It's got kind of this matching material. Very, very soft. It's not leather, uh, I don't think, but it's, it's very soft leather-like material and then cloth pattern centre panels. I do really like heads up display. So we've got front and rear parking sensors. I'm sure we've also got a reversing camera. I'm trying to remember to stop in. As I say, the sat nav's in night mode at the moment. In the top right hand corner of the sat nav, you've also got traffic sign recognition. So it's telling us we can do 70 on the motorway. If we, uh, if we didn't know already, it's showing me that the cruise control is set in the, hopefully, I've tried to set a camera up at the back there to be able to see the instruments and the uh, heads up display, which will just show you I was just exceeding the speed limit there by a, a mile or two. So we'll cut that down. And uh, if you knock the end in, I think that's, uh, that resume the, the motorway back there is, is quite quite a rough surface and does give you more tire noise than you, you would usually get and also the microphone picks up a lot more tire noise than you can actually hear yourself so we've got rear privacy glass uh, let's just run through what we've got All right. We've got the side protective mouldings, the aluminium window surrounds, the bright work on the bottom of the, the sills, split uh, tailgate, um, concealed floor or concealed load space or dual floor, whatever you want to call it. And it's, it's just with no wheel wobbles, no, no noises, no knocks anywhere, no rattles. Not that you, you wouldn't expect it, it's been obviously well very very well looked after it's the car's mint um, and these do these Peugeots now they, they're so like hot cakes we've got the uh, sat nav display also on your information panel in the center in between your, your clocks so you don't have to look over there it's going to tell you your next junction where you're going off or which road you're on the end of this stalk if we press that that gives you more information your miles per gallon average speed how far you can we've only got 17 miles before we need fuel or run out of fuel steering. Here we've got climate control and uh, CD radio there. Um, for the display, you can knock the display down to again, not that you want to, and you can also move it back and forward if it's, uh, you know, you're catching glare from it. But you've got nav there, music, change media, you see there Bluetooth streaming so that's uh, that will play any music from my phone I'll just turn it up um, rather good speakers in it so Bluetooth audio streaming got here again everything's kind of hidden you can just see a little bit of everything um, we could have done with about another 10 degrees on each piece of switch gear there and, and you'd be able to see 
the cruise control switch here, the audio switch there, and your indicators and wipers above the quarter to three position. So the audio, the audio here, you can change the source by clicking in the end there. You can also increase the volume. Nice car with lots of uh, lots of space in it. Very very comfortable. See the snow on the hills up, up there. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> you can see the snow on the roads down here. Electric windows. They all work. There you can. You can see alter the angle there or knock it away completely. They don't want you to do that very often because you to reach right forward. Just uh, check it in there. Check the wipers. But they may be, still be frozen. Uh, the, the wipers aren't wiping properly because they are frozen. See there, it's missing a, a, a huge drip in the middle. Right, you got it that time. Flattening out, that's better. Rear wiper. Yeah, that's squirting now too, so that's working. Certainly got a good heater, which is what we want today. So I'll just stop and put it in reverse. So we can make sure before I forget. So that's reverse and there you've got the goal posts and, and so on. front and rear parking sensors and reverse camera. And seagulls. <laughs> good steering, good brakes. Six gears got uh, very long legs. Um, I'm doing just short of 40 there, and I, I wouldn't say it's particularly happy in six gear. So it's obviously a more of a, a motorway dual carriageway gear.
yeah, no, that six gear is uh, certainly not for 30 miles an hour. Nice brushed aluminium trims around the gear lever and the vents on the steering wheel, the door handles. Uh, we've got this nice strip along there that uh, finishes the door cards off really well. Had some very happy times working for Peugeot in the, what, what would it be, 83, 84, 205 had just come out. The Peugeot models were changing from the very old French style to something of a fashion accessory. finish the test drive there and then uh, as soon as I get to Starbucks I'll show you how to set the sat nav and pay your mobile and stream audio. <laughs> 